Well, hello, my friends. Jacobs here once again. Thank you for joining me for Press and Play for the incredible adventure that we are about to embark upon through the Valley of Madness into the world of science fiction and despair to the heights of the heavenly kingdom known as the Kingdom of God. Yes, it's all connected. All connected to the weird things going on in the world. You ever hear of this thing called the Schumann Resonance? Every once in a while on Twitter or social media, you'll see these pictures. They'll pop up and they'll be like, whoa, look at that. The Schumann resonance is off the chart. It'll look all red. It'll look all spooky. Got interested in this a little while ago. My buddy X was telling me all about it. And all of a sudden, I start looking into it. And I'm like, hey, there's something to this. There's something to this frequency or harmonics in the earth. It's like we're being bombarded with something. Something that's connected maybe to solar flares and earthquakes and a lot more. Whew. Could be connected to Trump and a discovery of a sword. Not to mention zombies. Of all things, could you believe it? Yeah, I don't know. Listen, if you're new to the channel, I'm Jacob Israel. Welcome. I take the, uh, the stuff that's going on in the world and I extrapolate some kind of spiritual significance. It's an adventure. It's a lot of fun. We're all living this life, and I gotta tell you something. You're in the right place if you press play. I hope that you're subscribed, and you've checked the bell for notifications, and you hit that like so people join along, because this show, let me tell you something, it's just kooky. But there may be something to this, all of this stuff. I'm gonna take you down, I'm gonna take you down into the, the, into the, the, uh, the depths of my imagination today. Yeah, just in 24 hours, all of this stuff really started to compile because, of course, as I'm searching and I'm asking God, what do I got to talk about next? What do the people need to know? And they're like, you should talk about He-Man. That's right, the masters of the universe. Believe it or not, that's connected. We're going to get there. Don't worry, I'm sure you're excited and you're probably thinking, this guy, he's on the level. He doesn't sound like a wackadoo at all. I'm not. I'm telling you. Everybody else is nuts, but me, I'm golden, baby. I did feel a little bit nuts, you know, when I got together with a bunch of Ethan's uh, friends' parents where they had like, you know, like a barbecue. There's like no way. There's no way better to alienate yourself at some barbecue event than to talk about like prayer, aliens, and the Schumann resonance. Yes, you want to get people to walk away from you fast. That's what you do. You're like, hey, did you hear about this thing called the Schumann Resonance? And they're like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, no, don't worry. It's not that really famous barber shop quartet that plays at your local shoe store. The bunch of cobblers called the Schumann Resonance. No, it's not them at all. The Schumann Resonance is something that affects everybody. But I don't know what it is. So you know what I did? I asked ChatGPT, and this is what ChatGPT said. Hello, how can I assist you? What is the Schumann Resonance? The Schumann Resonance refers to the resonant frequency of the Earth's electromagnetic field. It is a global electromagnetic frequency that occurs in the Earth's atmosphere at a range of frequencies from approximately 7.83 to 33 Hz. This frequency is generated by lightning discharges in the Earth's atmosphere, and it is often used as a reference point for scientific research and measurement of atmospheric and geomagnetic activity. So why all of a sudden am I talking to you about something that I've only basically mentioned a couple of times on the, uh, the show before? Well, it's because it's doing something really weird. It looks like this all of a sudden. It has some weird, strange design that I've never seen before. Usually it looks like this. Now it looks like this. And guess what? It's not stopping. It's just the same. It's some strange thing. I saw some tweets out there. They're like, it's 12 dimensions of 12 vibrational strings. It's, this, is, this is something that's very important, they said. So I said, I better do some digging. And I did some digging. And what I found is going to blow your minds. <laughs> oh, God, this is fun. 
they say it's like a harmonic frequency, like, so, you know, that can shape or reshape or direct your life. Some people are like, you know, the big thing is, and I'm doing it too, right? When I see the uh, pictures and they're like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, that explains why I haven't slept in the last couple of days and I'm waking up like I'm feeling a million bucks. For those of you that have been here for a while, right? You know I've been talking, I want that signal. I want the Lord to like press a button so we get those superpowers, right? I think the superpowers are here, just like he man when he had his sword, by the way. They just discovered a sword. This 3,000 year old sword, this sword right here, it looks, it was all green and it was like finally polished and they said that it looked like it was ready to go. Didn't see any battle, right? So this was a sword that they think had something to do with spirituality or some kind of a ritual. And it was also a sword, it's very difficult to make. You know, the smiths that put this sucker together, they, it didn't take them a minute. It was like very difficult because they had to fold things a certain way and I don't know, I'm not a smith, but I do know that God holds each of us over the hottest part of the flame like a smith refining silver. And you know how they know when the uh, the silver is done? Because all the impurities will bubble up to the surface when the, uh, when the silversmith can see its image like a mirror in the silver, it knows you're pure. That's the way God does things, and we're gonna be in the fire. Isn't that great? But this, this, uh, this sword—it had, it had an octangle shape. I think that's the way they pronounce it. I pronounce things wrong. I do quite a bit. But it had like eight things. Eight, eight is a big number. It's the the infinity signals, the Ouroboros. It's something that we talk about a lot on the show. Because right now we're coming to an end of a cycle, right? We're coming to the end of that 7,000 years, eight being the new beginning. This is it. We're in the judgment. We're in that final harvest. The grape harvest is to come. It's very significant. It's kind of like, you know, we have these harvests. When are you coming in? God doesn't want to give up on us, right? But the world today, it's just, it's going to get very, 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 very interesting very soon. I'm doing my best to hold things back, you know. That's what the, 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 the witnesses of God, all of us here, are supposed to be able to do. We're supposed to be able to, you know, call things and then hold things off. So I don't want to see bad stuff happen. I want to see God's name, you know, revered. And I want to see love and I want to see peace and I want to see truth. But to get there, there may be some suffering that's going to be involved. I don't know if it's going to be us, the good people. And what I mean by the good people is the people that love and that are kind and everything else. We may go through a hard time, but I'm telling you, if you're serving God, you're going to be all right. So this sword comes out at a time that I find interesting. Because I was on Twitter and Biff Tannen, who I talk about every once in a while on Twitter, he, he has a lot of interesting things to share. He pointed out that there was the Excalibur that was discovered back in, um, right before the virus of the crown hit. Now I talked about this show. I talked about it because it was very important, right? The sword and the stone, it's, got, it's, it's symbolic about Jacob's pillow and it's about also uh, about, you know, Christ. But besides all that, here we have another sword. Right, so that sword that was discovered was 700 years old and it was found like in a stone and like there was a girl that was swimming in that famous lake from King Arthur's day and, uh, and then excavators and everything, they found this, this sword. Interesting because it happens back then. But here we are now and we got this other sword, which is so much cooler, so much more interesting, found in a place called Nordlinger. Nordlinger, you know what that is? It's a person who lingers in the Nord. Do you know what the Nord is? The North. This is very significant and symbolic because I think it's He-Man's sword. <laughs> That's right. The power sword or the, uh, the sword of the masters of the universe. I'm making jokes, but I'm not joking because you even look at the gif where he says, I have the power and you see all that lightning hitting that sword. Lightning is a big deal, right? Christ comes as lightning from heaven. Satan falls as lightning from heaven. The witnesses of God, guess what? Their appearance is like as if lightning from heaven. Very strange, enlightening. Lightning has to do with, of all things, the Schumann Resonance. And the Schumann Resonance is looking all spooky like. I looked at that and I gotta tell you something. I saw something weird. I was looking at it and I said, yeah, it kind of looks a little bit like when I was zooming in and I was checking stuff out. I said, that 
kind of looks like that, uh, those, um, interdimensional clockwork elf demon d beings that Joe Rogan and Jones are always bragging about and saying, oh, you should try the ayahuasca. Oh, you talk to this creature and that creature. <laughs> Stay away from drugs, people. Stay away from drugs, okay? But th I said, that kind of looks like that. And I thought that was strange because I went to look that picture up and then I saw it had that little weapon in its hand. And I go, that's the thing that was on Elon Musk's side table. When he was like, just put that out for no reason and everybody decided we're going to spend hours trying to dissect what's on his table, which is strange because I did it and I found out that that thing that's in his hand, that's connected to a game, that's connected to zombies. So here we are back to zombies again. There are people that are online that make videos and everything else, not videos that you can find on YouTube, and it's not videos that I watch or promote or anything else, but they say that there's going to be some kind of a signal or some kind of a, a sound or some kind of a frequency that's going to turn a bunch of people into zombies. That's right. Yeah, yeah, some some people even theorize that maybe AI's behind all of this stuff. So the question becomes, is this harmonic frequency, is this man-made or is it interstellar or is it some kind of extraterrestrial body that's trying to take us over and make us do weird things like this? Or worse? Do that in public while your wife is just trying to talk to the people at the party and you're the only one trying to, to make the moves while the music's going because no one would talk to you because you brought up the Schumann Resonance and nobody but your YouTube friends care. Hey, speaking of zombies, all right, you know that show Last of Us? Cool show on um, on HBO or Max or whatever it is. I watched it. Very interesting. Has to do with like fungus and spores and everything else and people becoming zombies because of, you know, the change of the Earth's temperature. That's so they say. But my, my buddy Nicholas on Twitter, he sends me something. He goes, holy mackerel, look at this. He didn't say holy mackerel, I say that. But he just said, look at this. And he showed me this picture right here. And that's from the show Last of Us. And it says, you know, when you're in the darkness, just look for light. And he goes, oh, go figure, right? And I said, exactly. That's really weird. Because if you remember correctly, on June 12th, now this is serious, people. On June 12th, somebody had a birthday. It was Grimace. Mm -hmm from McDonald's. I did a whole thing about Grimace. Don't ask why, because there's something to, something to it, I think. But Grimace has become a thing. It's like everywhere. Even Joe Biden and John Fetterman got together when they were speaking at an event about collapsed bridges of all things and infrastructure, which he, he, John Fetterman had a problem saying, which was, you know, He's had a problem saying infrastructure. I don't know the guy's ins and outs. Some people say that he uh, has a disability or he's had traumatic brain injury. I don't know. All I know is the guy shows up to work always in like baggy short. He looks like a slouch. He always wears like hoodies and it's really silly. But I guess to celebrate Grimace's birthday, he decided to wear like a purple hoodie. And the two of them did something that I like to call dueling grimaces because the both of them did their best impersonation of Grimace. Take a look. And now I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the, the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well too. This is a president that is committed to infrastructure yeah, and then on top of that, uh, the, the jewel uh, kind of a uh, uh, law of the inflation uh, uh, bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all over. Now, I'd like to remind everybody that a fettered man is a man that is in chains. So we're going to pray for him and we're going to hope that he learns how to, you know, pronounce things better than me. I'm not going to fault the guy for pronouncing things wrong because I pronounce things wrong all the time. I'm a meatball. But they were talking about um, bridges, which is strange 
because I did my show last night or the day before, depending on when I air this. My last video, how about that? And and the whole video was about God Save the Queen, right? God Save the Queen. It was about Biden and the uh, stuff that I put together, which I just found so incredibly interesting and how it's timed, tied to... You know, big shake-up that's coming. Big shake-up grimace steals your shakes. It's all connected, people. Can't you see? Can't you see? Will you please have a barbecue with me? So I can feel validated. Please. But here's where it gets weird. Because at the same time I'm doing the whole show about all these codes, all this code that's going down, do you know what the code is? For when the queen, he says, God save the queen. But do you know what the code was for, for the queen passing away? Speaking of bridges and falling, John Fetterman talking of bridges that are collapsing, need to be rebuilt. It's London Bridge is down. London Bridge is down. That's That was like the code for that the queen has passed away. Now, you know on the channel, right? Because in the book of Revelation, there is this queen, this for lack of a better word, she's called a whore, the whore of Babylon. We learn that the queen of the south rises up with this generation in the judgment and a greater than Solomon is here. Uh, we've talked about this, talked about the game Diablo, right? Where that's Lilith and that's a picture of the queen of the south. That's a picture of the whore, if you will, of Babylon. It's a picture. Well, guess what? You want to talk about something that'll get you excited, get you all fired up? Well, guess who entered the game? Guess who entered the game? If on June 6, 2023, hell has come to New York, on June 7th, He-Man entered that game. That's right. That's no joke. A Diablo 4 player decided to take one of the characters and turn it into actually He-Man. He-Man, of all things. He-Man, whose name is Adam, who gets the sword of power and turns into He-Man. Oh yeah! He-Man, by the way, who also happens to look just like one of the Knights of Templar. He's got that, that cross thing that everybody wears. Weird. He-Man has entered the game. And how does his sword get power through lightning? Lightning is attached to the Schumann Resonance. The Schumann Resonance is acting in a way that's very, very strange. And in fact, some people have gone so far as to take it because it's a harmonic frequency, right? It has to do with sound. Well, God spoke and everything was created. So sound is an important thing. It's a frequency. It's like now we're tuning in to a new channel, which is interesting because Christ comes as lightning from heaven. They both come as lightning from heaven. Could it be that this message is that is poured out from the heavens has to do with a great battle that's taking place within? I think so. Then you gotta tell me in the comment section if you believe that maybe that's the case too, because I gotta tell you something. Good, good is a good thing and good is gonna win. It's better to love than to hate. It's better to forgive than to hold on to nonsense pain. It's better to be kind and compassionate, to be selfish and greedy. It's always better. It's stronger, it's harder, and you gotta be more patient, but in the end you win. In the end, you're He-Man. You know what I'm saying? So some people took this this um, this picture right here and they put up the music. Well, they put it to like what it would sound like. And I gotta tell you something, it sounds freaky. I was at the gym and I'm listening to this thing and I close my eyes and I start thinking, oh my God, what if this is like that movie Cell? And I'm listening to this sound and all of a sudden I get possessed and I start walking around in circles and I act crazy and then I go and I try to attack Samuel L. Jackson and John Cusack. If you don't know anything about the movie Cell, it has to do with mind control and, and, and hive mind and all craziness that has to do with signals that will manipulate you and, and everything else. You know, you remember John Cusack, right? He's the guy that says that Hollywood is filled with whores and horrible people. Great actor who's also connected to a lot of other very influential films that are spooky and have to do with the day that we're in today. But so as I'm listening to this, I'm at the gym, I'm going, oh, I hope I don't get possessed. Good stuff, don't worry, I didn't get possessed. I don't think that's exactly what it's supposed to be, but it sounds weird, so just take a listen. Now, 
as I said before, this is connected to lightning. And I don't know if you've been uh, paying attention lately, but we've been having a lot of weird lightning. A lot of weird, freaky looking lightning. Even in just New York, just the other day, there was some crazy, you know, lightning that hit going off, looking all like Dr. Frankenstein-esque. Wolf of Twatter on Twitter it, it set, set, like responded to one of the things that I shared and they said, the seal is broken and they showed this picture right here. And that was very interesting to me because I was just, I just shared out that picture right there where I said, oh, it looks like either like an X and I called it X marks the spot or it kind of looks like a pentagram or whatever it is. But the fact that it's like this spell card, witchcraft, MAGA, and it says the seal is broken and you got Trump who just recently gave a speech where he told everybody, he said, that's it, they messed up. The seal's broken. The seal's broken. Take a listen. It won't stop with me. They will not hesitate to ramp up their persecution of Christians, pro-life activists, parents attending school board meetings, and even future Republican candidates, which they do. We must end it permanently and we must end it immediately. Now that the seal, so important, is broken. The seal is broken by what they've done. They should never have done this. This was an unwritten rule. You just don't, unless it's really bad. But you just don't. But the seal is now broken. So I found it very interesting that the Trumpster sounds and he says the seal is broken. Which, of course, I think to myself of the last seal, the seventh seal, the seventh seal that's found in the book of Revelation, chapter eight, eight, the sword, eight sides all together. And what do I read? And when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. And I saw seven angels which stood before God and to them were given seven trumpets. This is when the, uh, the plagues of the earth are poured out. But the seventh seal that's broken, there's silence in heaven. And I think to myself, what if this has to do with communications going down? Because I was just watching Adam's show, Marfugal News, Marfugal TV, you check it out. Adam, he texts me and he's like, oh, I'm having problems. I only have, I only have like the phone. I only have access to the phone, like everything's down because communications have gone down in many, many areas. And I think to myself, silence in heaven for the span of a half an hour. And we know, you know, with God, a day is like a thousand years. So a half an hour could be, a, you know, could be some time. I don't think this is real math that we need to like put together with a calculator or anything else, but I've tried to figure it out and uh, I wouldn't recommend it. With so many things happening in the world, could that be the next thing? Well, I got a bunch of people telling me that's going to happen next. Everybody's got it on authority. They know. And I'm like, okay, well, I pray about it and I think about it and everything else. And, and then I stumble on all this stuff. Maybe, maybe that's the case. But then I think to myself, well, hang on a second. You know, when that plague comes, when the darkness comes to uh, Egypt, right before Israel is set free. This is in Moses' day when Moses delivers all the slaves from Egypt, which is symbolic of all of us being set free from this beast system, right? He-Man enters the Diablo game, you know, just like Moses entered Egypt. It's a symbol. Well, when the lights went out everywhere, when the comms went out everywhere, Israel's house was okay. They had the lights still on. The communication is still there. Of course, the silence from heaven for a span of a half an hour really has to do with not hearing the word of God and everything else. But I'm telling you, all of this stuff is playing out literally in the world today so that it would get you and draw you out from putting all your faith in this nonsense and starting to put your faith in God. Put your faith in more, will you? All right, I'm not gonna tell you where to go. I'm not gonna tell you what religion's the best. All I gotta ask you to do, just ask for the truth. If you're there, tell me. Teach me the truth no matter what the cost. That's one of my, uh, that's one of my, my, my t-shirts. If you want, you can get it in the, um, the, the links in the description of video. Go to the uh, description of the video in the links below. You can go to my website and you can support the channel. It's just me. 
I'm working my buttocks off here for all of you. Just me. I don't got any help. I don't got any. It's just me and you. So those that want to get the uh, the merch, I appreciate it. Those that want to get the uh, copy of the call, and I appreciate it. Those that just want to, you know, partner with me on Patreon and uh, get ready for what's going to come there because at some point in time, I'm going to hit 200,000 and that will be my first show that I do there. I'm going to take like a Q&A. We're going to talk to people. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. I want to thank all of you for supporting the channel. Those on PayPal, those that do something more than just simply watching the video. I appreciate you watching the video too. If you hit the like, I appreciate you even more. If you comment, I appreciate you even more than that. And if you share this video, wow, you're like, you're like a rock star to me. And I can tell you something, I want to have a barbecue with you. Schumann Resonance is going off. It's going off. I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, I think it's a good thing. As lightning, right? It could be Satan's message or it could be the message of Christ. I'm telling you, if you are on the right page, this should be a day of excitement for you. And I'm excited, so I want you to be too. Do me a favor, hit the like button, share the channel around, make sure you're subscribed, check the bell for notifications, and uh, let me know what you thought of this video. And um, if I'm a little too goofy. I'm trying to be more like myself. I like to make people laugh. There's a, there, Laughter is a medicine. And I think that more people need to smile today, don't you? Especially, especially if, you know, th there's silence coming. <laughs> Get ready for the silence that's coming if that's the case. But don't worry because you'll always be able to hear from God. I promise you. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. September 10th. Mars hangs closer to the Earth than it has in 6,000 years. Like the light that led men from the East to a child in a manger, it could well be a sign of good things to come. Thomas James shall be his name. The world will change because of him. In the small town of Bethel, in a time not unlike our own, a child with a great purpose is born. Years later, alienated by his peers and abused, Thomas suffers a devastating loss. When it appears he has nothing left to live for in the world, this is when his true calling begins. While trying to escape the sinister powers that be, a terrifying vision haunts him. Miraculous events seem to follow the peculiar young man as he struggles to come to terms with what he was born to do. The stage is set. The time is at hand. The truth will rise and a revolution will begin. The startling revelation of who Thomas James is, truly, will change the lives of those around him and set off a chain of events long ago foretold. There is more to this novel than one might think. Inside these pages hides a treasure just waiting to be discovered. So if you've ever wondered if there's more to life, or why it is we suffer, then this story will not only captivate you, it may just open your eyes to a truth that could set you free. Find out what is in us all that makes us heed the calling.